Here we are with My Hero Academia episode 5 and 6. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment below what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Are they really gonna do this each episode? <coughs> <coughs> I mean, I guess this was just 30 seconds, but still, man. These recaps feel so unnecessary. <coughs> Either you watched this when it's already out, like me, and then you just watch it very quickly, right? Like maybe each day, multiple episodes, or like one episode each day or something. I would guess, and then you would just remember that stuff. <coughs> I mean, even if you watch it when it comes out, like week by week, it's still just a week. If you have trouble to remember this stuff, like a week after, then I guess you have some problems. <clears throat> I mean, if you're really interested in what happened last episode, you can just like watch the last episode and skip through it to see what happens. Uh. <clears throat> These recaps feel so useless, I think. I mean, that's why it's like... Kind of like seasonal, right? That you don't need these recaps, basically. Nah. That's also like a pretty crazy ability.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we will see. Okay, let's go with this notebook. Yeah, just put some acid on it. Destroy it. That ass. Man, this season 5 really has the ass shots here. More recap. That's what we need. Yeah, this looks like three versus four. Oh, the invisible guy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Didn't so her. She does her job well, I guess. <laughs> I like her design. Oh. Rivalry. <laughs>
that would be a disaster. He has also big range with it now. I mean, we don't know all the quirks. Like, we don't know Shroom Go, we don't know the Sign Guy, and I mean, the Shadow Guy, we or Darkness Guy, we also don't really know, right? I think. Ooh, oh, that's, oh, is he going inside him? That could maybe mean that he can't pop up right at him, right? <clears throat> oh, he controls him? What are you doing now? Using his quirk against him. <clears throat> Can't you? I guess he has no control over him, over him right now. I want to say, can't he just get him back in his body? Oh. Shadow. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I mean, you need a dark spot, right? So. He will be a hero that is like around at night, I guess. When there are the most shadows. You could basically like walk through everything at night, I guess. <clears throat> oh. I'm interested. Let me see. A few months ago. Holy shit. When he was with Hawks? He can't keep up. His quirk is crazy, man. He can just fly around, can use his feathers for all kinds of things.
Damn. Couldn't keep up? <laughs> Is he dropping him? How often do you want to say that? We are birds of a feather. <laughs> so what can he do now? Does he get wings? Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nasty. What's smart? <laughs> Yeah, he can move freely in this location where there are so many shadows. <clears throat> Here we go. How? Oh. Oh my god. That's very interesting. God damn, dude. What are the limits to how high he can fly? Oh. <clears throat> That's bad for him. 
Because now the shadows are changing the whole time. So you probably can't go anymore, right? Because when shadows are changing the whole time, you can't get in because you get pushed out immediately, right? Oh, Shroom Girl. We can see her, but we see the shrooms and the gloves. What the fuck is this ability? Dude, I would burn her. Preview. Okay, that was episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, some interesting parts, right? Tokoyami can fly now in a weird way. I wonder what the limitations are, right? Because he seems he went pretty fast. So, how fast can he go that way? And how high could he go? I mean, before it was very easy because he, he just stretched from he just stretched right so it seems like there was like no limit it was just like limited limited by how far he can stretch right um but now is the question what is the limits when there are no real limits Yeah, Shadow Guy, very crazy. Like I said in the episode, he will probably be a very night centered hero, right? Because night has the most shadows, so that's the best environment for him. Um, I wonder if he can go through walls. He can go in walls, but could he go in a wall and come out on the other side? That would be very handy, I would say. Um, but yeah, I mean, when you have like a uh, Twinkle Twinkle guy, I, I forgot his name, Aoyama or whatever. Um, yeah, because when shadows change the whole time, right? I guess he gets pushed up, gets pushed out, because they change the whole time. He can't stay inside because he can't get from one shadow to the next shadow. That quickly i guess to stay inside because it's also kind of unpredictable which shadow goes where when right because it all depends on how the light falls um and then we have the shroom girl like i said i would burn her i want no shrooms near me growing outside of me holy shit maybe she cannot only grow shrooms because i mean what could she do just growing shrooms, I think, is not very impactful, I would guess. I mean, it's definitely annoying and shit. And you might panic if you suddenly grow shrooms. But, I mean, maybe they can also, like... Um, um, have some spores, right? And those spores maybe can paralyze you or something, right? So that could be very... Crazy, I would say. If you suddenly get paralyzed by spores or maybe some sleep powder spores or some shit. So, yeah, and I wonder what the other guy is with the weird uh, sign in his face or whatever. I wonder what he can do. I mean, Kendo, we know she can get big arms. I don't know. I, I think we only saw big, big arms before, right? So I guess we don't know if she maybe can get big feet or whatever. <laughs> I guess we have to wait for the next episode, but yeah, let's get to the next episode. And this again, come on, bro. <coughs> Fuck me, dude. Now they recap the last two episodes.
and this is another long recap over a minute already <clears throat> will probably be another 20 seconds or so dude what is with my nose nose today it's so itchy Yeah, it was pretty much 20 seconds, I think, from 15 to 36 or so. Okay, let's we start here again. <clears throat> More recap. Yay, I love it. Three and a half minutes for recap and intro. <clears throat> now we start basically where we left. Four minutes. Burn her. <clears throat> oh, this is so disgusting. <clears throat> I hate shrooms.
Who's this? Is this a sign guy? Some letters. What the fuck is this? Them in, I guess. Right? Look like it. Mm-hmm. Of course. Why would they do it? Hello, Booba. Here we go. <coughs> Mm-hmm. Those fists are pretty strong, god damn. But she improved since then. Why are suddenly no more shrooms growing? Maybe she just stopped growing them? So what will she do now? Makes me wonder if they will win or lose Class A. Makes me wonder if everyone in Class A will win or not. Someone has to lose, I would imagine. What's she doing?
<laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you came to a cannon fight with fists? But yeah, like I said, I, I, I would imagine that some group of Class B has to win, right? Here he comes again. If all of class A would win and no one of class B would win, that would be crazy. Holy shit. But how can she aim precisely and hit her? I mean, hitting her with that, I guess, would kill, right? <laughs> I guess it would be a bit too much. What she shoot? What was that? Why are no shrooms growing where she is? Can she control where they grow? But why the stuff she would spray wouldn't affect further away, right? That's so weird. Oh, damn. That's handy. What else is in there? Oh, <clears throat> against the shrooms? Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh, that's why. But why not around him in the area? <laughs> Beat the shit out of him. Oh, the armor. Oh, not armor. Oh, yes, armor. <clears throat> but <laughs> so is he automatically going into the shadow or can he control it because if he can't control it why did he go into the shadow of the cloak Like I said, burn her. Will they win or lose? Team looks like they will lose right now, right? Seems like they win. B. Damn midnight. <laughs> Man, I, I have to say this is a dumb win. This is such a stupid ass win. <clears throat> that she can, that Kendo can move with Yozuru attached to her and a fucking cannon. I mean, her fists might be strong, but how can she move with a fucking cannon attached? That she has to drag around. <clears throat> and then the little shroom girl, which is also completely stupid, that you should burn to hell.
review. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, like I said, I think there was a stupid ass fight. <coughs> <coughs> the shroom girl is completely dumb. I hate her. Burn her, please. Thanks. Um, the comic guy, also kind of stupid. Um, shadow guy, also kind of stupid. <laughs> like, I, I'm confused. Can he control it? Can he not control it? I mean, there's so much weird shit in this episode alone that it seems like the shadow guy can control if he wants to go into a shadow or not. Because, I mean, in some situations it looks like he can control it, but then if he can control it, why did he went into uh, his cloak, right? That it's like that would be like a big disadvantage. So why did he go into the cloak if he can't control it? If he can't control it, why can he, why can he get out of shadows if he wants to? It's completely weird and makes I feel like no sense. Um, and then Shroom Girl, can she control where she wants to put shrooms exactly? It sounds like she can't. It just spreads everywhere if she wants to spread it, and. Otherwise, has no control, but there is nothing growing around her where she was standing with the shadow guy and she was spraying her shit the whole time and nothing was growing. Why is she spraying the shit when nothing is growing? I mean, that's the whole point of spraying that shit, right? To make it more humid so that the shit grows faster. But the spray shit would only work in your surrounding, not far away. And if nothing around you is growing because you don't want something to grow around you, then why do you spray around the whole time? It makes no fucking sense. Holy shit, is that dumb, dude. <laughs> like I said, it didn't seem like that she can actually control it where she wants to grow it. It seems like she just grows it around her everywhere. Um, and then there's the question, why can't she grow that shit, but not growing around her right now it's not growing on her eye okay her eyes had the weird uh, anti fungi shit right um it's just weird it's it's kind of dumb <coughs> her ability and then yeah kendo like i said also completely dumb i mean we know he has strong fists right but moving with a body attached to you and a fucking cannon doubt it doubt it i mean we know that these are not normal circumstances right that these people here are not normal human beings because a normal human being could never move a cannon like that i would say um <clears throat> but i would say even in this world Dragging around a cannon, if your if your quirk is basically get bigger fists, yeah, I doubt it. I doubt. Let, let me check something. Let me check something. Um, when she came, because something that could maybe make somewhat sense is when she came. Did she? was grabbing the cannon and carried it basically or was she dragging it i think she said she dragged it right or something like that well i knocked her out but she still got me she tied herself to me with her cannon attached It was so hard to move. I mean, <clears throat> we see it here, and she only has one big arm with which she grabs Invisible Girl, and her other arm is just like tied close to her body, so I guess it's not big. So she just carried a body that was right attached, like immediately attached to her with the cannon on the side, and she could drag it around. Or it seems like, I mean, you also have to consider how far away it is, right? Uh, here, what is his name? Tokoyami, whatever. 
he had to fly with Dark Shadow quite some time to get where they are, right? And she went from all the way far back because Yuzuru and y y Tokoyami were like right next to each other, just behind walls, right? And he had to fly quite a bit to reach where they are, Shroom Girl and the Shadow Guy, right? And she went from all the way back there with Yozuru, Yozuru and the cannon attached slowly but surely over there. <laughs> no. <laughs> she has big strong arms, yeah, but everything else? No. No way in hell could she drag a cannon plus, plus Yozuru all the way over here. Yeah. That quickly especially. I doubt it. <laughs> That's just some dumb plot shit. Um, but I mean, like I said it, not everyone in class A can win, right? There will be losers, but I have to say this is just a dumb win. It makes no sense on so many levels right now. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But okay, yeah, that was the episode. Um, let me know what you think. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching until next time. Bye-bye.